Before I begin today, you may be wondering what I'm doing in the dark. So, I have to, as part of my job, is I have to work on the checkout, production checkout tonight at 11.15 my time, Eastern time. And my wife went out to check on her sister because her sister fell down and hurt her wrist. Because of that, I am on here making an impromptu video. You know, I was uh, kind of behind of where I wanted to be video-wise because of my sickness and all that. And I do owe some people some follow-up, so rest assured I'll get to you Sunday. Sunday, so I'll get back to you. But anyways, what I'm doing today is we had a Bushy Road uh, Japan uh, release announcements, again, for the different types of games they have, you know, like a Rebirth for You, Vanguard, Weiss, and you can actually see that here. I didn't watch this video yet, but uh, you might want to check out Casually Weiss Wars. Um, he is going over the summer pres strategy presentation, reading bad, uh, but uh, basically he goes... I'm going to assume he goes through the different sets and where they'll be available and dates if they have dates. So check it out. And I know he's on the road to 1000. So while you're there, if you haven't subscribed to him, make sure to subscribe to him. And let's just go talk about it. So on my, I had a video, right, about the problems in y -H Wars. It's, it's the list. I call it the list. I'll probably put it in one of those little bubbles or the thing at the end of the video but I talked about a giant list of different issues that Y Schwarz has and I said I'd get to it. Today is the day uh, I talk about Japanese versus English sets because you know again like not everybody knows about Y Schwarz and what we see in the stores if you have English sets available to you is not the whole breadth of product that's available in Y Schwartz. There's a Japanese version and there's an English version. And unfortunately for the English people, the, the people that play the English set, you're basically getting, I didn't do the math on it, but you're getting less than half of the sets that are actually available. Which sucks because again, if you like anime and your set comes out in Japan, you're left wondering if you're ever going to see that in English. And if you flip a coin, you may not be uh, seeing it that often. So I always like this, the, the eternal battle of, uh, of J Japanese sets versus English sets. So after that presentation, again, you might want to check out that video. Uh, but there is on the Facebook Why Schwarz Global Community. If you haven't joined that, you should probably do it. It's got a lot of good information out there. You can pick up sets if you're having trouble finding sets. So just go out and check that out. But anyways, after that presentation, I uh, did my best to clear all the names and everything like that. All these cool sets that will never see the light of day in English. Cry, 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 broken heart. So uh, you can always tell a quality a quality post when you get these right here and you get this little laughy guy here uh, because you know the stuff that's gonna come after that is just nothing but good stuff right so like this one just buy them in JP lady and then uh, we got uh, just buy the set in Japanese five head so today what I'm actually going to talk about is why I personally don't buy any Japanese uh, sets so I actually had a picture of, let's see, let's see, where my quince go? Quince. I had some cards from quince and they're not available, so I'm just going to show this thing. I don't know what I did with the picture, but here is the quince. This only came out in Japanese, and as you can see, it's in Japanese, so... <laughs> It's not much of a surprise here um, that I can't read this thing. So I'm not Japanese, so I can't read this. And even then, if I was American and Japanese, there's still probably a good shot that I wouldn't be able to read this. So the reason why I don't buy Japanese cards 
outside of those the only cards that I have in Japanese are those Quince promo cards that I showed before is I can't read them uh, the playability to me is zero and I know what people are gonna say you can go on heart of the cards you can go use Google translate as you play you know you can point your phone at the at the card and it'll translate for you or you could just believe that the person that you're playing against or the person if I own the card I tell that person and they have to believe me or I have to believe them that they're telling me what's on the card is actually real so there's a whole like again if you're playing for fun actually no because my uh my brother or sister would either cheat knowingly or they read it incorrectly and even though they're trying to tell me truthfully they're just getting it wrong so again like the playability of these cards are are none i don't want to play and have a person look up on a website like the translation for it it just makes the game way longer than it needs to be it takes the fun out of it for me anyways not that like if I want to sit through looping Madoka. <laughs> it's <laughs> all that fun either. I can read the card and I see what it's doing to me, and it just takes forever. By the way, if you haven't seen that video, you should. It's uh, the good people, P G H Y Shores. They make a Madoka free, f free fresh loop. Jeez, I can't speak tonight. It's a uh, 10:30 at night. I'm gonna blame it on tiredness. So. My checkout tonight, the thing I'm going to do for work, I hope it takes less than two hours. It's going to be painful. So anyways, check this out if you haven't seen it. It gives you uh, a way to jam mobile, mobile Madoka, Mag, Magia record and the anime set together. So And it's a fun deck and you're, you, you're going to need Sayaka, Sayaka's Wish from before but anyways check it out i think it's awesome again give them a subscribe too like the video all that good stuff blah 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 anyways um so again i don't buy i don't buy japanese because i can't read it and i don't expect the other person to be able to read it and it just makes it longer so playability out the window for me i, I just can't do it again if i walked into a lgs and there was a game that was in English sitting beside a game that was in Japanese more than likely I'm gonna pick up the English one you know again I might look at the anime character like if it was Magic the Gathering versus um, Japanese Weiss I may look at the anime character and I'm like oh that looks really cool but if it's not an anime that I truly truly care about then I'm just going to buy probably not Magic <laughs> I don't know. I should probably use the better one, but right. Uh, more than likely, I would look more at the one that I can actually read than I can't, and that's just the truth. I mean, I'm I'm lazy. I I want to read in one language, the language that I know in. Okay, collectability. Collectability is a huge thing. So, as I have shown in the past, and I don't have the page up, is when you take a look at. Okay, when you take a look at single card prices in Japan for the for the Japan set, I just messed that up. Uh, when you take a look at that, what you will come to find is the prices are normally lower in Japanese Y Schwarz than English, and the reason for that is because. There's a lot more product open. There's there's a lot more buying. There's a lot of more opening. And as we all know, the more product that gets open, the lower the cards become because there's a huge it, there's a more more supply. More supply means uh, lower prices normally, right? So not a surprise there that the same thing were. Ooh. And look, obviously I didn't look any of this stuff up, but we got the new. Uh, more Fonica cards coming out. So more um, more product means uh, more supply means lower prices. So the collectability, you know, when you think about because there's reprints in 
in Japan, there's a lot more reprints that happen than in English. As if you have looked at the game, know that English doesn't have a lot of reprints. So collectability goes out the window uh, here. If you get like special shiny cards, yeah, they're going to be more expensive. But even then, they're, they're lower, like I showed on the other videos with uh, signature cards. Like when you look at the signature cards, when I go through, you know, each set comparing English to uh, the Japan, it's not even close. The, the prices are like way higher for English. And that's, that's where the collectability comes in. So, okay, we have collectability. The other part about the collectability is this one. It is right here. We got Bofuri. So what ended up happening with Bofuri is it came out in Japan on November 20th, 2020. Um, what happened was, you know, they announced it. It was coming out in JP. People were like, okay, cool, I'm going to buy this. I love Bofuri. You know, it's not going to come out in English, so let me just buy this. And then as anybody that's been looking at this stuff, you know, Bofuri is actually coming out in a week from now. So you can only imagine what the thought of store owners were to find out that Bofuri is coming on English, right? So again, if you are a person that plays English, why Shores? And then you end up picking up the Japanese version because you didn't think it was ever going to come out in English. You got punched in the stomach on that one. <laughs> that hurt. I feel bad for you is what I what I mean because again like you bought something it was going to be lower in price eventually and then um, like lower in price naturally just because of reprints and all that good stuff that happened in for Japan sets and then you get hit with another whammy that you're going to be playing this set in the Japanese version and then there's an English version so what do you do? Do you buy the English version or do you stick with the Japanese version? And that's that's what ended up happening. So some stores that bought the, Eng the Japanese version are stuck with the Japanese version because people know it's coming out in English. So why am I going to buy the Japanese version if there's an English one coming? And that's, that's part of the collectability, right? Like, I don't want to buy two of the same set in different languages and even then the one set is going to have its value reduced because of this English set coming out so kind of sucks um, that's one of the reasons why I don't buy it because again what happens if it comes to English but then this is one of the downsides to my thinking what if it doesn't come out in English well you're just screwed right like if you are a collector of of anime so I, I don't have any anime that I'm I'm a diehard for like and what I mean by collector I mean like you got the DVDs you got the plushies you got the the little statues and all that if you are a collector and you don't buy that in in Japan and it never comes out in English you might not be able to get the set because some of this stuff goes out of stock you miss the reprint, there's nothing left, and you're you're just completely screwed. So how many different ones are there? Actually, I'm going to use this photo. This is a photo that comes off of the Y. Schwarz global community. It is not mine. It is under the announcements. So I do not take any credit for this. But this is a listing of the Japanese and English upcoming, already recently came out and upcoming. And what you'll notice here is the fact that they do basically two, two releases um, a month. This one's kind of like three, but not really since it's like an extra booster, extra booster. But you can see like they, they pretty much hit up, well actually in August there isn't, almost feels like that's weird. Anyways, you could see there's just a ton more releases here. You could see the English list. Look at this. It's it's down here. And then the Japanese list keeps on going. It keeps on going. There we go. We got all these down there. So that's why I meant earlier when I said you got like a less than 50% chance of having a set come over. 
and again, there, there's a whole slew of reasons why that a set doesn't come over. So you have, and I, I made a video on it. It was the one about what can you learn from these companies. What, you got uh, names? There's some names you can't use. They're never going to put it into a store. Maybe like rent a girlfriend. That might be a hard sell. You have uh, partial nudity on them. You know, that's when we need to hit them with a light beam or actually just delete the card itself. So that's, it won't make it into English that way. Um, prob the other reason why is probably because they don't think it's, Bushy Bro probably doesn't think it's going to sell well over here or licensing. And I, sell, I say the sell well because obviously if you have these limited of releases, they're not, this is just common sense, right? They're not going to pick a set that they think is going to fail. Like if you take a look over here, you have so many choices of things to pick. So obviously, you know, again, there's some things that won't make it just because of the, the issues I listed. But even then, there, this is just for 2021. Just imagine what's uh, over here in uh, 2019. And let me just hit this. Let me go to number four. You know, there's plenty of sets that they can actually, actually these came over, that you can choose from that haven't been picked. Well, actually, this whole page has been picked. But yeah, there's a uh, other... <laughs> that was a bad example. Anyways, um... Here we go, Summer Pockets, right? I want Charlotte. I love that anime. That anime is pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, anyways, you can just go through the list. I love this one. Uh, is your order a rabbit? We didn't get that. So you can go through all of these lists here and see all the good stuff that we're never going to get and how you want them and you'll never see them ever. So. Again, if it doesn't come out in English, it's one of those moments where I go, well, damn. And then I just move on. Because, again, when you take a look at the, the list of, of, of things, I don't want to be, me personally, I don't want to be spending, like, thousands of dollars every month or every, you know, combination of, like, two months or three months. I don't want to spend thousands of dollars. That's not the life I want to live. <laughs> I say that, but then I have, you know, I'm like, I have to split up my spending over different things, right? I can't just buy anime. So that's where we are. There's a lot of reasons why you don't buy, um, uh, for me personally, why I don't buy Japan. And then we get to this. There is this thing called exclusives. It's an amazing thing, like where... Uh, you can have a set only in English or only in Japanese. And the problem with this is, you can see this, this is English edition exclusive, Cardcaptor Sakura. And everybody was like, oh my god, this is awesome. I like this one. Oh nice, didn't see this coming. English exclusive is interesting. Can't imagine the Japanese will be too happy about that. The answer was, they weren't happy about that because it did come out. <laughs> I wasn't around for that time, but that had to be one heck of a time. Um, you could see here, actually, I had this up. I had this up somewhere. Here we go. February 22, 2019. Remember, English exclusive. And then it came out in uh, Japan, 8-23-2019. The worst part about that is, from what I hear and have seen, is there's actually better cards inside of these that, uh, in this one. They had different cards than the English versions, which, if you think about it, data, you know, something like Data Live had all the same ones. So, normally, so this shouldn't even have come out in Japan. That shouldn't have never happened to begin with. But at the same time, they even got better stuff, which is pretty messed up when you think about it. So there was a lot of anger over that. So even if you have an English exclusive, it doesn't mean it's actually exclusive. Unless uh, you got a uh, Marvel here. <laughs> Japan exclusive. You can see this at the bottom of this list. We got Marvel over here. Not going to get it in English. So who knows? Maybe we'll get it one day in English. I, I don't know. 
you would think they would try for it, but the licensing's got to be out of this world. How much they had to pay for that. So again, there's a lot of reasons again why I don't buy English. There's a lot of uh, cons to that because I may never see something that I actually want to see. But in the end, for for my limited amount of money, right, I want to buy something that I can play with no hassle that is worth going to be worth more and since i'm not a huge fan of a diehard fan of anime i don't have any inkling to do so so again there's people that will buy japan sets and there's nothing wrong with that i think if you have people that are willing to play you with the japan sets that's awesome if you love the cards and the images on it that's awesome I mean, that's, you, you just have to decide for yourself what you want to do. And uh, this eternal struggle between buying JP or English will always be out there. Because, uh, yeah, I don't know. So again, from that uh, Bushy Road announcement meeting, I guess you could say it was, there are things... I, I fully expect this one to come out in English. I wouldn't... For me personally, I'm not going to buy, I, I don't know, I don't got no crystal ball. So don't don't hold me to that. Me personally, I am going to wait for this. If it doesn't come out, then it sucks for me, but I, I fully expect that I, for me, I'm not going to, well, I wouldn't have bought it anyways in Japan, but I'm not going to do that. If you think about this data bullet, seeing how well Data Live did here, that's definitely coming to English. It's a matter of when. And then this, like I said, not coming. Don't expect that. And please, God, give me Quince. And I started thinking about the whole Quince thing again because you know, there's a lot of people writing in the comments about it. About how the trial decks are like dead. Uh, to me, it's like I've seen plenty of stores now that only sell booster boxes because they don't want to be trapped holding trial decks. So I think that's really a solution. Like, if you don't want as a store to take the risk of buying trial decks then uh just don't buy the trial decks just sell boosters people will buy the boosters so that's kind of like where i landed on the quince you don't always have to buy trial decks or booster boxes or whatever if the store is afraid of carrying these because there's five just don't sell them that's where we land and there we are so oh Problems for Bushy Road. I, I forgot. There's one last thing about this. Why why even began this whole topic uh, to begin with is overall, what does that mean? So now we know why I don't buy it, why other people like me don't buy it and will never buy it. So overall, what does that mean for Bushy Road? So think about it this way. That Bofuri that came out in Japan and in English, what does that actually do? So if you were the guy that bought this in uh, the Japanese set, where does that land you? So if you invested, let's say, $300 in this, in the Japan version, are you going to be willing, you know, honestly willing to buy another 300 just so you can have it in English? There's some people that don't. There's some people that will. And that's where a lot of the problems come in, right? So... When you think about this, this goes back to that demand talk that I've had before is you have demand issues in English because of this thing happening because they don't, one of the things on the Bushy Road survey that I, I said, which will never get, let me, let me say not never, but most likely will never change is the fact that we don't know if a set's coming out in English or Japan. It'd be nice if they go, we're trying, but they're never going to come out and say that. So this hurts the man, right? If you're trying to forecast the man as an analyst, if you're, you're like the guy in their office trying to figure out if people are going to buy this in English or not. The hard part is, is you have, you have another, another variable. If people buy this, that play English, that buy it in J the Japanese set, because they don't think it's coming out in English, they just spent that money. So you potentially have lost another customer because they've already bought the set in Japan. So it goes back to that whole demand thing where 
we have players that are not buying every set. And if they were to buy the set, did they already buy it in the Japanese version of it? And if they did, are they planning on buying the English version and spending even more money? So it's, <laughs> I, I don't know how you do it. I mean, most, more than likely, what they really should do is try to sync these up, right? Like, you should have these sets come out at the same time, right? So, Data, where Data Bullet? Data Bullet should have came out. Data, should, data Bullet should have happened, like, right here at the same time. So, Bofuri should have happened at the same time. They should have been announced at the same time. Why they don't? I don't know. Maybe they're just trying to wait to see the data from Japan, like on how many people buy it, or maybe it's a licensing thing. I have no freaking clue. But truthfully, they should start lining these things up. If you do that, there would be a lot more stability in figuring out demand. So that is everything. That That's their problem. Bushy Road's got some problems, and uh, hopefully they can figure it out. But again, oh, last thing. You may, if you even made it to this point, and you're wondering where you can buy some of these Japanese sets, well, why Schwartz Reddit? Again, this is not something that I am vouching for. I'm just pointing this out because it's the official Reddit thingy, and it lists here in the wiki part of it different stores. So again, don't vouch for any of these. I mean, I've used some of these places, but again, things change with stores, and I, I'm not going to say whether they're good or bad. You know, right? They're on this list. I don't know how you add yourself to this list, but these are some stores that you can check out. And the nice part is they, they break it out. English singles, playsets, Japanese singles, Japanese singles, uh, playsets, sealed products. So go ahead, check it out. At least gives you a resource again. What I would say is check with your local LGS. If you don't have that, go buy from a real store that's online, like a real physical store that has an online presence. Go do that. If you can't find anything, just try these out as well. Hopefully that helps. Alrighty, have a good one.